you know I'm anxious. Is that why you're looking at me? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Katie, part of the ProTag Project, or just a person living in the world. Sorry if this video is gonna be kind of like weird and rambling or something. I'm just kind of making it on the fly because of something that just happened to me uh, that was a little upsetting. And it's something that I feel like people don't really talk about a lot um, and it's viewed as something that we should just like get over and it's not a big deal um, but I kind of want to talk about it and I would also like to put a disclaimer in the beginning of this that I know this is not all men not all men are like this not all men act like this not all men treat women like this there are tons of great guys out there I completely and totally understand and I also if I mentioned that they're white because they are I, I want to also be clear that I know not all white men are like this but for the premise of the video, I don't want to have to keep reiterating that. So just know that I understand, I hear you, I know it's not all of you, let's move on. So let's just get into it, I guess. Um, and this obviously isn't very clear right now, this isn't going to be a super fun video. I'm probably not going to be like joking a lot or anything, uh, but it's something that I really wanted to talk about and I think it's important that we kind of keep bringing it up and keep holding people accountable for the things that they're doing. So I went to the 7-Eleven today. Um, and you meet all sorts of characters there. I walked in, I saw these two young white guys, and the second I saw them, I knew in the heart, my heart of hearts that they were going to be a problem. And so I just ignored them, I did not make eye contact, I did not look at them, I did not acknowledge them, I just kind of like got my stuff, was very polite and nice to everybody there, got in, got out, was there for maybe three minutes. They had already left by that point, they were outside sitting in their truck, and they whistled at me and then they all started laughing. And again, just a whistle, no big deal. I know how to handle the situation. I just, I'm very good at letting things brush off my back. But I think what you don't realize what you're doing is that you don't know what the person you're doing this to, whether you're catcalling or honking at somebody or hollering at them or whistling at them while they're walking or while you're driving past them, whatever it is. You don't know what that person has been through. You don't know what that person has experienced. You don't know how that single action, that single two second action is going to affect the other person and in what way. So many women are sexually assaulted every day, every hour, all the, all the time, whether it be a smack on the ass or being raped. And when you do something like that, it brings back up that trauma that they have felt and you have no idea how they're going to react. So yes, I think that a simple whistle could lead somebody down a very destructive path, whether you think it would or not. And something crazy happened to me after they did it, which is also why I want to make this video. Um, I realized a thing, a way that I feel about myself and I think it's unhealthy and I don't think it's good and them doing what they did made me realize it and made me really upset <laughs> at them, at myself, at everything. <sighs> what? How do my animals know I'm upset right now? Go on, get out of here. <sighs> the point is that men have created this environment where women feel like they're just helpless to the harassment that they receive from other men. So, guys, if you see some dude doing some shady shit, say something, fucking speak up, and because the behavior will only persist. If, if I'm a woman yelling at a man, to them, you're already a shitty man, so all you're thinking is, oh great, this woman, now she's just bitching. If another man comes up to them and is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's not okay. Then they're less inclined to do it. It's the same like we have a president in the White House right now who is racist and all these people are now coming out being like, woo, racism. See, it's the same thing. They're emboldened. And when you, nobody says anything to them about what they're doing, they continue to think that it's cool and that nobody's going to give a fuck. But now here I am extremely upset and I feel like it fucking matters. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry if I babbled on too long and this video is stupid long, but I hope you actually got a different perspective and kind of understood what happens when you do the things that you do. And to all the ladies out there, I feel ya, I get ya, let's fucking shut these dudes down.
because I'm tired of it.